section 1.4 B. Don't stop when you are tired. Stop. Unknown. So in the last section, we learned about how to evaluate functions. So this is a continuation, but now we're going to be looking at something called the difference quotient. And the difference quotient will be used um, quite a bit when you move on to your calculus classes. And so um, here we're going to call this the expression f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h for h not equal to zero is called the difference um, quotient of the function f. And so really, um, I'm going to label these as this little part here is going to be number one. And then I'm going to use a number two for f of x. And so we're going to do these problems in three steps. So the first step is for us to evaluate what f of x plus h is going to be. So first, let's write down the function. So this is step one. So I have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So anywhere that I see an x, I'm going to replace it with x plus h. And so we simplify and we get f of x plus h is equal to 2x plus 2h plus 1. There's nothing else I can do um, to simplify this further. So for step one, this is the answer that I get. And so now for step two, we're going to figure out what f of x is. And so first I write down the function so that I can see what I'm working with. And so anywhere that I see um, an x, I'm going to replace it with whatever's in the parentheses, in this case x. And so if we simplify, we get f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And then last, the step number three is we're going to take these two steps, step one and two, and plug them in to the difference quotient. Okay, so for step one, f of x plus h, we got 2x plus 2h plus 1. So I'm going to write that down. Let me just rewrite the difference quotient, and this is equal to, so f of x plus h, again, this is what we got for that, minus f of x. And for f of x, we got 2x plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and use parentheses, since I'm subtracting the whole um, expression there. And then we're going to simplify. So I'm going to distribute the negative. And um, keep simplifying. So 2x minus 2x is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're only left with 2h divided by h. These cancel here or become 0. And now the h's um, can simplify. h divided by h is 1. So we end up with 2. So my answer is that the difference <coughs> is two. Okay, so let's try um, letter B. Okay, so for letter B, step one. Step one is always the same, is to figure out what f of x plus h is. And so I'm going to go ahead and work this out by writing the equation. So anywhere that we see an x, we're going to replace it with x plus h. And then we want to simplify. So x plus h squared is the same as x plus h times x plus h. So x times x is x squared, x times h is xh, plus 
plus xh plus h squared. Simplify. Or let's distribute the 3. 3x squared plus 3xh plus 3xh plus 3h squared. Gather your like terms. 3xh and 3xh is 6xh plus 3h squared. So for f of x plus h, this is what we get. 2, find f of x. So anywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with whatever is in the parentheses, in this case x. Simplify. So we get 3x squared. And then finally, step three is plug it into the difference quotient. So f of x plus h we found was 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus f of x. f of x is just the original equation divided by h. Simplify. So 3x squared minus 3x squared will become 0. And then we get 6xh plus 3h squared divided by h. <clears throat> Notice in the numerator, there you have an h in common. So I can factor out an h, and I can factor out a 3 as well. So in order to get 6xh, I would have to have a 2, because 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have an x plus, plus h. We can check 3h times 2x is 6xh, and 3h times h is 3h squared, divided by h. The h's here will become 1, and so we're left with 3 2x plus h. And so my difference quotient is equal to h. Okay, so let's go on to the next example. So again, step one, evaluate f of x plus h. So my function here is f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Anywhere you see an x, we're going to replace it with x plus h. And then we need to simplify. x plus h squared is the same as x plus h times x plus h. Plus, distribute the 2, we get 2x plus 2h minus 3. Earlier, we did x plus h times x plus h. You can see it in the above example. And so we get x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared. So we're just multiplying. So gather your like terms. So we end up with x squared, xh and xh is 2xh plus an h squared plus 2x plus 2h minus 3. So that's the first part of um, for letter C, and then the second part is to figure out f of x, which is going to be the same as the original equation. So f of x is always the original equation. 
And then step three, we want to plug it in to our difference quotient. So for f of x plus h, this is what we got here, down here. So we got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h uh, minus 3. And then we're going to have a minus, and I'm going to squeeze this in here. So minus parentheses x squared plus 2x minus 3. Okay, so I apologize here um, for squeezing this in. So f of x is this part right here. And this is all divided by h. So I'm going to continue over here. So I'm going to rewrite it just so we can see it better. And we had minus, so I'm going to write it in here, x squared plus 2x minus 3, all divided by h. Simplify. Distribute the negative. Negative, negative is positive 3. Check to see if anything cancels, and we can see the x squared would cancel with negative x squared. They become 0. And negative 2x and 2x become 0. Negative 3 and 3 is 0. So all we have left in the numerator is 2xh plus h squared. And in the denominator, we have an h. So in the numerator, they have an h in common. We can factor out that h. And so the h's will become a 1, leaving us with 2x plus h. So our difference quotient is equal to 2x plus h.